All right, here with Braxton Berrios. Let's start with the tough questions. What was your first major purchase after you signed that contract? I, uh, I don't have any, truthfully. Honest answer, I don't have any. I have not made a major purchase. Maybe stocks and stuff, but I haven't made a major purchase for me. Okay, so, you're, yet, at least. so you're in the market a little bit? I'm in the market. I'm the market. Not doing well, <laughs> not doing well, but I'm in it. I'm in it. You and everybody else. Okay, let's talk about the receiver position. What have you seen out here from this group in terms of progress this spring? Yeah, um, you know, I, I think we're very getting very comfortable with the playbook, and that helps because everybody can then be versatile across the board, you know, playing all positions. And I think that's huge because, you know, things in the season happen. And, you know, if we have multiple guys that can play multiple positions, it, it helps uh, It helps the group um, when things like that do happen. But, you know, we've we've come a long way. We're making plays and we're, we're looking good. Is it weird to go out there and you're a professional football player, guys come and go, but not to see Jameson Crowder out there. <laughs> yeah, he's he's been here since I've been here, obviously. Um, so, you know, I, I know he's up in Buffalo now, and we wish him all the best. What changes in the slot now for this team? You know, we'll, we'll see. Um, and again, I, I think that's part of having having a lot of players, being able to do a lot of things. Um, but obviously, it, it creates more opportunities. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to go out there and, and seize those. You were in Elijah Moore's position before going from year one to year two. What changes? You know, you, you understand the knowledge that you gather in the first year is huge. And, you know, everything kind of simplifies a little bit. Everything slows down a little bit. And, uh, you know, with him, it, you know, it didn't honestly seem like things were too fast for him whatsoever. I mean, he, he had a heck of a freshman, rookie year, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to him absolutely building on that this year. What did you like most about his game? You know, he just, uh, he's smooth. He catches the ball well. And, you know, he's, he's, he's electric with the ball in his hand. And, uh, you know, he, he really became a huge playmaker for us. Speaking of electricity, the Jets grab Garrett Wilson out of Ohio State with the number 10 overall selection. I've talked to a couple of guys about him, and they say he's got a professional approach as a kid. What have you seen? No, absolutely. Same thing. And uh, to that, Elijah Moore had the exact same one coming out of college. Uh, they just they they act and, and seem a lot older than they are. Um, their their maturity is through the roof. And, you know, I truly think that translates in, on the field as well. You're still growing as a player. You're coming off a career year. Uh, what's next for you? You know, it's it's just like talking about them making the jump from year one to year two or from college to rookie year. You know, I, I got to continue continually get better like I have been um, and, and that's all it is there's there's nothing nothing crazy you know nothing nothing insanely different it's just continue to learn and, and get better each day how much did that time that Zach had with you guys even before he came back for OTAs and manda mandatory mini camp help uh, it's, it's huge you know just from a, from a chemistry from a camaraderie standpoint when when players can when we can all get together you know outside the facility it just it goes a long way have you seen more mastery of the playbook from him, both inside the huddle and maybe inside the meeting rooms? Yeah, absolutely. And that, that all comes with, you know, being uh, going into year two again. You know, it, it all comes with having that experience and that knowledge. And so you, you start a mile ahead um, than where you were last year at this point in time. How much has the intensity changed out there on the practice field with a couple of those cornerback additions, namely Sauce Gardner and DJ Reed? You know, we, we – uh, you have to be competitive in this league. Um, you, you have to have competitors, uh, just truly, you know, through and through competitors. And that's that's what we pride ourselves on. Um, you know, we, we want to be competitive with those people and we want them the same with us because that, that at the end of the day is going to make our team better. With all these additions that we're talking about offensively, what is it going to do for the multiplicity that Michael Fleur can throw at opposing defenses? I, I'm sure it'll do a lot. Um, you know, again, we, we got a lot of additions, and I, I think we're, we're highly skilled on offense. And, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see what that turns out to be. Uh, let's not forget about special teams, though. <laughs> um, what do you do to get ready for training camp from a return perspective? You know, you can, you can watch film, and honestly, from a uh, physical standpoint, you go out and catch kicks as much as you can um, with guys around you and near you. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's – it's feel just as much as it is experience. And how much do you appreciate being able to contribute in a couple phases? Oh, it's it's, it's huge to me. Um, I'm always uh, 
I'll do whatever to win. You know, again, I, the fact that I can contribute and in, uh, in, in different phases and and hopefully change the game at any point in time means means a lot. Lastly, no major purchases, but what's on tap for you before training camp? Uh, you know, train. Honestly, that's 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 where my focus is. I part of me wishes we didn't have this little dead period um, because it it kind of gets mundane and you're just ready for the season, but. I, uh, you know, I'll go, I'll see my family, I'll, I'll take a, a quick trip, and then, um, yeah, it's going to be all football.